It's your ASMR friend just checking in on you. I hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Deep Rock Galactic. I've been having a super fun time with this game. And one of my favorite aspects is how they've made this ship feel like a home. Somewhere you look forward to returning to. This is Lloyd, he's the bartender. Let's order a round, shall we? Now I could go with the oily oaf brie, brew, but you know, we could also craft a brand new one. And I thought that would be fun today. So let's try the burning love. The temperature is rising. Burning love is here. Let's prepare it. Can't believe they made me care about collecting plants. Can't wait to try it out. There we go. Now that looks fun. Look at that handle. Little fire extinguisher looking. Ooh. All right, well. Before we take a drink. Let's play a tune. Well, cheers to you. Let's see what this does. <laughs> I'm on a fire. Yeah. Rock and stone. And what I like is that they set aside four different rooms for you and your friends. Of course, there's the medical bay. I'll show you my room. <laughs> right? It's pretty small, but it has everything you need. Here's my sleeping pod. Of course, the Deep Rock Galactic Information Channel Brotherhood Challenge Profit. Excessive use of Q mining is known to make you blind, to make you go blind, to blind, to blind, to blind, 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 blind. Together we can do it. Stay together. And this computer is where you can check out your statistics. As you can see, the Scout is obviously my favorite. And once you get milestones, you get stars. And from there, you can get perks. So. For instance, I'm using, for sure, Heightened Senses 3. There are these bugs that can pick you up. And without this perk, you can't break free from them. So for me, 
that's kind of like my go-to one because I hate that feeling. And here's the wardrobe. You can change your armor, different headwear, color, although not too variety, not too much of a variety. Victory poses, your beard, your hair color, sideburns, eyebrows. It's got it all for you. Now, bring you over here, and this is where you can customize your pickaxe. And literally, the only thing I've been able to change is this. But hey, I'll take it. And because I bought a DLC, I got a different color. That's all I've been able to do so far. But over time, perhaps more. Here's the equipment. So, you can customize what gear modifications you want on your gun. You can change the look, the color, same with your secondary for the scout, it's a shotgun. You can add gear modifications on your pickaxe here. You get a flare, which you cannot change the color of. But there you are. For me, as the scout, you get the flare gun and the grappling hook. I have this bomb that makes him slow down. And then, of course, most important, your armor. This is also where you attach your passive perks as well as your active ones and if you're going solo this is where you can upgrade Bosco and he is your best friend after a while you'll be able to change his look color as well, and then gear modifications. So, I like the variety of options, for sure. But I just love the little details here. I love this computer, you know, you got all the buttons, all sorts of space kind of buttons and I really like that and then over here is the shop and this is where you will buy with in-game currency different cosmetics items for your head you do mustaches your beards. It's got all that there for you. Oh, let me go back to that. And as you can see, you have A class. You can have a B, C, D, E. And you can do that for your driller, your engineer. And your gunner. But I'm sticking with my scout. And over here is your season terminal. Which, as you can imagine, that's where you unlock different season related items. Like a season pass thing. And I haven't been able to promote my dwarf yet, but 
once I do, I'll be able to access this area as well as this deep dive. I haven't looked at to what it is yet, but I'll find that out soon. Because you can level up or you can promote a 25. But again, I just love the feel of this. And even though can't exactly sit, you know, you can get the gist of it, not much to look out there, but gives you enough of a view to get the mood right, of course, there's other levels to this, as you can see. If you're looking at a smaller device, it might be harder to see, but there's levels up there. But of course, here is the mission selection. And that is where you pick out your next mission. Pretty straightforward, right? And you see on the left, new missions in 11 minutes, 40 seconds. You see some of these scanners are out of range. So every half an hour, this gets randomized again. Some are, some areas may be closed again. Some will open up and you'll get different missions within. And as you can see, there's the mining exposition, expedition, 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 industrial sabotage, point extraction, escort duty, salvage operation, elimination. have arrived. Hello Bosco. This is a simple mining mission. Deposit your quota of Morkite into the mule and you'll send a drop party ready out. Get a little light. So you can send your drone, Bosco, to mine for you. He won't pick it up, so you have to do that. But it can come in handy. Absolutely. Depending on certain situations, it can really help with timing. So, this is a mining expedition. We have to extract 400 more kite with the option of getting 12 gunk seeds. I like the blues on this planet. The snow dropping. Obviously, it's a cold place. And of course, you remember Molly, the mule, where you deposit anything that you've mined. Throw out a flare. I mean, look at how it shines in here. Very cool. And we got some more kite right there. I'll have Bosco get that. Okay. 
Look at that. What a guy. Thank you. Nitra, of course, is how you can refuel if you get enough and call in a resupply. So it is absolutely worth your time to get because you don't want to run out of ammo. I'm going to check my map here quick. Okay, that's what I thought. You see how there's that void between them? All we have to do is dig. I'll have Bosco dig there a little bit. Starting to see the other side. Now, even when you play solo, it's a good idea to make any entrance a little bit bigger, not just so that you can fit in there, but that you have a little maneuverability. ceiling. Anything can be on the ceiling or the walls. So drop a flare, get some light, search around. There is something satisfying about the axe in this game. It, it's just enough of an activity. It doesn't feel like an annoying chore. Of course, you would like to get things faster. It's a good amount of limitation. And here we are. The main objective. Get in this mortite. And I'll have Bosco mine that gold right now. And we have some friends. Didn't realize. Oh man, it's a bit of ways down. You can call. Molly over to you. Deposit some more. Excellent. Closet. Very good. Wow. It's 
beautiful. What's down here? Beware of fall damage. Move your thin ass over here and hurry, please. See, Bosco can really make your life easy. And pause it. Good. Now we have enough. We have enough nitro for a resupply. However, I do not need that right now. We have a swarm coming up. So. Oh, there we are. Have on hostiles incoming. It's okay. Bosco's got my back. These enemies will keep will come in quick, but Closer. More kind. Deposit. 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 All right. I think we're good. As you can see, Bosco isn't just helpful mining, but also protecting you. Let's look at that map. You can see we have to dig down. So that's what we'll do. And I think it sounds pretty nice.
another area to explore. Now the flares that you throw, you don't have to. You'll never run out. They'll regenerate and you can throw them as many times as you want within that. with my flare gun, which offers much better lighting source. That does run out eventually. I have 13 left. This up. Oh, went to that. I'll let Bosco do that. Take a look, and we'll dig down. Might as well resupply. And because it comes down in a drill, well, I thought that would work better. Let's resupply. Maybe give it a little more height. Alrighty. And the search for more markite. Playing solo can be very relaxed. Relax. And playing co-op is just a little more fun, especially with friends. But also, it's not so bad with random. Got a swarm coming up. But we'll be ready for them. Get a little red sugar for health. Never know where they'll come from. All right, we're 
We're a little over halfway there. Making some decent progress. Check my map here. Yeah, okay. There's more if we dig through here. And of course, you always have your pickaxe no matter what class, but of course, a driller. Right through this. But for me, the grappling hook of the scout is just too good to ignore. Totally been ignoring the gunk seeds. Okay. Hopefully. Should be enough though. These rocks seriously need to invest in some better equipment. Okay, we are getting close though. There we go. Oh, I just made a platform. That's interesting. That's cool to know. Look at Bosco go. And also, I love that they have them sleep back. Oh, I didn't say stop though. I don't need any. Don't need any more morcade or nitro. Do need more, more, oh, 10 more. This should do it. There we go. I think that alone did it. Ollie, over here. 
This will be a mad dash. Back to the pod, hopefully. I don't get lost on my way back there. You only get about five minutes. And my feeling is that it'll take some time to get there. Luckily, Molly, being the awesome mule that she is, will lay down arrows. And maybe we'll be good. But Molly will climb up walls. She'll take the easiest route for her. So sometimes it can be a little tricky to follow her exactly. Oh man. I honestly don't know. I don't think I've ever been that far back before. this for longer than 10 minutes rock and stone will become your life rock and stone rock and stone rock and stone rock rock and stone well that was very fun i hope you enjoy let me know in the comments if you're playing deep rock galactic if you haven't yet, if you're interested, it is so worth it. Of course, it's not free now anymore on the PlayStation, but it's worth every penny. I would not have mind paying the 30 bucks for this game. little victory beer don't forget to tip your bartender and that's it for me thank you again remember to be well to others and be kind to yourself